Hey babes, I'm Marissa. Welcome to the channel. And today we are back with some more of The Walking Dead. This is going to be episode four. So let's get into it. Let's go. All right, last time we were here, we figured out that Clem's been talking to some fucking pervert on the end of her walkie. And we've arrived at Savannah. So let's see what Savannah brings to our terrible, I imagine, life. <laughs> Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now. What the fuck's the problem? Hmm, still sad. You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Fine, you stay here and we'll go with your lady. The hell you will! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Me too, Ken Ken. Me too. Ugh. It's so cold where I am. It's already snowing. So where are we? We're still on the train? Me and Savannah? Holding me in suspense? Of the Walking Dead. Okay. So we're getting off the train? Episode 4, around every corner. Ugh. Oh, poor Omid, he's all fucked up. Have we talked to Clem about it yet, or...? Hey, babe. Sweet pea. Oh, yeah, I get to keep it now, so we talked to her I about it. Can't I just hold it? A little while we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are maybe i can not now clementine maybe later okay okay i feel bad also me his leg's pretty bad i'm fine you're not fine you need to rest he needs to rest okay <laughs> kenny how much farther to the riverfront and it should be just a few more blocks up ahead and there'll be boats there Sure as hell better be. Fingers crossed. Be boats. Crush your fingers. Have to be. Have to be. It's going well. to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Well. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Maybe. Keep moving. No Maybe one's clearly. ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't Once. see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello! I said, answer me! Clem knows who it is. I mean, she doesn't really know who it is, but she knows who she's been talking to. was that? To. Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. 
Ask not for whom the bell tolls. <laughs> what are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Hey guys. Just out on a stroll. Looking for the bells. Mm. Oh shit! God damn it! <laughs> it's like Run! Thing. Oh shit! Follow me! <laughs> No! Look at Chuck. Well, like, hold a thing or something, or throw it on your back. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, you good? Yeah. Kitty! Them too close, don't you think? Ben! I did it. No, Ben! Help her! Pick her up and run, jackass. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, Ben. God damn it. You're such a coward. Check. <laughs> Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's Bird. not all. Fuck oh, you, ben. Give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Ah! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. Well, There's no time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go! No. I like Chuck. I don't want him to die. But I have a feeling he's gonna die. She can unlock George's first city. I'll get the door. <laughs> it's just... You okay? Is it gonna open? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Okay. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You're we'll touching work it. faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Okay. Should I talk to Clem first? You okay? That was scary, huh? Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? Because they're stupid. We're smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. Animals aren't dumb. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, we figured out how to open <laughs> the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. Oh. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. This one chunky yeah, hamster. Right. This time we're the cookies. Just stay away from the cave. <laughs> and we'll nice see about analogy, getting us Clem. inside the house. All right. Well. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound. You're losing blood. And God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected. It could be... No offense. But you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on okay. it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I figured you on it. What the fuck, Ben? Ben. What the fuck was that? About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? No. Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Mm hmm I hear you. I'm better. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Well, that'll yeah, be good. Looks pretty solid. 
once we get in there. I think Kenny's holding out. I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck. I mean, would you? Not with me. Maybe Obviously. We should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Okay. Um. A fountain, a doghouse, something buried, a shovel. A shovel is never not useful. Yeah, Chuck knows how to wing them bitches around. Hey, Ken Ken. What's up? How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's okay. a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. How are you hey, holding up? How are you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Okay. A pet door. No way I'm going to be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. Mm -hmm. My neighbor had yeah. one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Bullshit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> you learn something new every day. All right, so where's the dog? Oh. I gotta dig up the dog, don't I? How do you even know the dog's still gonna have a collar? Empty. And that would have been too easy. Oh, I don't wanna. Okay, fine. Oh, hey, Lee, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. You think animals will come back? Uh, Clem, very you young. might wanna leave. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Chris and Obi. Okay? Yeah, but I want to just no, do you what don't. I say, okay? <laughs> you don't want to see. I'm sorry you feel hurt, but I don't even want to do this. Oh. Oh God. This yeah. Uh, I'm sad. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Don't make me look at it. Ew. Uh, I can't get it off. Oh, oh. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Poor puppy. Oh, Krista. Are you okay? <laughs> Keep it together. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Well, last time I heard that sentence was in The Last of Us Part 2, and Dina ended up pregnant, so... Krista, you have anything to say? <laughs> Use this fucking. I still have that thing, <laughs> the spanner or whatever. It goes nothing. Uh, yes! God damn! I know, I'm a magician. Look at her smile. She's like, yeah. See anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Look well, good. Well, how are we gonna get in? Gonna shoot Clementine through there to show her in. Do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. I say you wouldn't be able to get the lock try. anyway. I think I can. Nah, she just took it upon herself. Clem, are you okay? Say something. We would have heard her scream by now if anything bad happened. Ta da! <laughs> good work, Clem. Don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I you did good. I know. You did I know. good. And you did good. <laughs> you just had me worried there for me. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Yeah, Omid, get your ass in here. Looks okay from here. Everybody in.
Imagine how noisy the world is now. I mean, it's already noisy, like, now, now, but, like, in the world with all the fucking <laughs> shit going on. <laughs> well, this house is nice. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. No, oh, he's trying to make sure she's happy. Oh, the picture of the dog. A horrible so, person. <laughs> when were you going to tell us about the radio? I tell just found what? out. That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street. And She's we didn't see wrong. anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games. You don't even know. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Okay, Ken, Ken. It's fine. But I want to make sure Chuck's good. Ben. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Understood. Okay. Hey, Clem. Is there anything I can do? Thanks. I got it. Hang out with Chris to know me until I get back. Oh, okay? she just wants to be a little helper. I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first right. the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown ups, okay? <laughs> okay. And she's like, yay, I'm smarter than everybody. <laughs> oh, what a sweetheart. All right, let's look around. Anything all good? Empty. I could leave. What'd you no expect? <laughs> that doggy food? No. I wonder if the dog died before or after the apocalypse. Were they eating Hope we dog never food? Get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I doubt it'd be hard. Red clock. Ooh, whiskey. Take it. Probably not the best idea right now. For later. Need to stay frosty. Okay, I can't go this way. Oh, cute little family. <clears throat> what is this? A potty. Nothing hiding in here. Luckily. All right, what's this door over here? A closet. Okay. All clear in here. Anything else to look at? Just one more to check. Okay. Where could that fucking huge ass door lead? Knock knock. What's in here? Or is it locked? Jesus! Oh, another closet? That's a what? fancy what door happened? for a closet. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. <laughs> I just a uh, fucking mop scared the shit out of me, that's all. Well, Don't ask questions. Ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. 
At least until the quiet's down outside. Good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Is he okay? He's tired. Yeah, I know. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? I wish. Uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead. Go it's ahead, okay. Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, hmm. honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Yeah, Ken Ken? Oh, Lee, ben. you need to get up here now. Benny Ben. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh, Kenny Ken, Benny Ben, what are we gonna do? What? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Okay, but he's okay. Stay here. <laughs> you, I found some whiskey down here, Ken Ken. Would you like a shot? <laughs> What's up, man? What are we gonna find? Kenny? What? Oh. I assume this is something sad. Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. What? Oh. It's such a little guy. Oh. Oh. He starved to death. Kinda looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. That's okay, man. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. I'm a lot stronger emotionally. Than you are, buddy. Hey, little guy. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Could have been Clementine. Don't make me think bad. I don't want to think about that. Ooh, okay, we'll use the thingy. I don't want to just stomp his face in. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> this is gonna be brutal, Ken Ken. You might want to turn away. Avert your gaze. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Well. Well, that's sad. <laughs> we should bury him. Okay, well, we've got a spot in the backyard. I'll take care of it. He can be with his dog, you know? <laughs> wonder what happened to his parents. Oh. I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't pick up. <laughs> it must feel so weird. Poor Kenny. This is a pretty house, though. Too bad. It went to shit. I mean, the house itself didn't, but the world did. No. You're gonna make me carry it? I'm sorry. Okay, you just go over there. <laughs> Boy and his dog. Gather for you, Evan. Oh, the puppy makes me more sad. <laughs> that 
Stop showing me it, Lee. Stop. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, well, let's give him burial. Sorry, bud. And little bud. Lee, <laughs> just do it. Stop looking. I'm not trying to be mean, but stop it. Hey, Clam. Krista. I know. Sad day. Bye, Clem. Clem has seen so much shit. Since we started this journey, what? Am I gonna see something? Sway or looking at the fence like that. Ah. Hi. Who are you? Look, oh. Hey! Hey! You're a fully conscious person. Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I've seen another person. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No. no. Too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? A Didn't man. Didn't get a good enough look. Does does it matter? Matter? It was I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Probably. Hey, Ken Ken. Jimmy, I'm fine. I just. I'm fine. What's no. all the ruckus? <laughs> Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. You I think don't I like know who he bit. is anyway? Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Yeah, that's, All right, that's pretty it. scary. Don't we stuck around people. here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, well you better stay. get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, supplies. we are moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you want to. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm going to do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more. said I'm done with this house. Okay, Ken Ken. What do you want me to say? Why are you looking at me? He's an emotional mess. We can do both, then. You take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful. While me and Kenny go down to the river right. to get us a boat. Why can't we Wait, just make sure that we I have come? one there before? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Can she come? Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. <laughs> Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come okay. on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. Omid's out like a fucking light. What do so you want, Benny Ben? just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yeah. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do anyway. that. Can well, just you? Just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? What if it's us, Lee? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did even... you hear what I said? Right. Anything or anyone. Good. You better do it right, otherwise I'm going to kill Benny Ben. I'll fuck him up. <laughs> That's my kid right there. She may not biologically be my kid, but I picked her up. I found her. She's mine. Finders keepers.
infected. Like, do these people, like, get bit? And then they're like, oh, warn people and put out a sign. Like, I don't think I'd take the time. <laughs> That's just me personally, though. I don't know. Where are we at? We should look around town for supplies, too. Like, I mean, it looks pretty ravaged, but you never know. There's people running around here. They gotta be finding something. Ken, chill with the angry face. That fucking radioactive sign? RLW670B204 James? Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. We're no. friends. You sure, man? I mean, river's right up ahead. All right, you're not a feelings kind of guy. I get it. More bells. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, no. listen. That's not the it's same bell away. as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. No. What in the hell is going on? Shh, Kenny. Quiet. It looks... I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Or maybe they're doing Whatever, it for man. themselves. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking town? bell for them. Good About one. having to be afraid of walkers? I don't think that they give a fuck Just about us. I don't think this bell person and the dude on the walkie are the same person. <laughs> dude on Still the walkie. Nothing moving behind us. He's a I fucking think predator. What? Oh my god. No boats? Well, there is a boat, but no boats. <laughs> There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. There doesn't have to be a boat, Ken Ken. Kenny man, I don't think so. Kenny man. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house I didn't ain't do exactly that. helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Ken Ken. I mean, that's this flooded. one might still be salvageable. How? Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? Not yet. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Alrighty. Stay safe, Ken Ken. Alright. So a telescope, you say? This one? Great. Needs a quarter to work. Oh. Where's Larry when you need him? Oh. Oh. What's going on over here? Fucking Vlad shit going on over here. Fucking impaling zombies? Oh. That doesn't look comfortable, does it? This is meant to be some kind of warning? Do something like this. Why are you surprised to leave my mouth? <laughs> I'm sure the cannibals would have done that at some point. No, no, we're not going to waste our ammo on all that. Markings. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the yeah. place. I don't know. There's another one. AHA. Maybe this cash register has a a thingy in it? Hey, do you have a quarter? Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, Empty. beautiful. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Boo. Okay. What other options we got? Oh. Uh, yeah, a newspaper machine. Any quarters? Hey, all. <laughs> 
quarter. Thank you. Violence does get you somewhere. Alright, we you gotta run. Like, faster than this. This is like a very... This, this is a speed walk. We need at least a jog. Alright. Yeah, just beat it up. <laughs> Fuck! What? What's up with the boat? Not so. It people. ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. Hmm. You can't fix it? Yeah. <laughs> you what like the, the scenery? What the hell is that? <laughs> Fate worse than death. Isn't that being a zombie in general, not even being impaled? Alright, what do we got? Abandoned. Man, you really can't just find anywhere safe. Doc. Docks. Tell me your docks. No nope. boats. No way that one's salvageable. Well, why not? The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. I'm, saying, I'm sure there's a fuckload of cars over there. Oh. Hello. What the hell? Who are you? Where you going? Oh. What are you, you're ballsy. You got like a Get down. Get down. I don't know what you call those, like an ice pit climber thing for when people are like climbing mountains and shit. Are they over here? <gasps> Hello. Hi. Are you friendly? Do you want to be pals? I like your jacket. Why the hell are we hiding? I don't Someone know. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Okay. Uh, maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay. All right, You Kingdom. head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Okay. Oh, has he seemed so pleased by this? We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Oh, where am I going? Up the middle? Cover my flank? <laughs> Is that what you said? Oh, where'd you go? Well. What the? Oh, how'd you do that? Ah! Oh! I wasn't quick enough. <laughs> I don't have the reflexes. Hello. You're very, um, correct in your mask wearing. Hi. No! <gasps> Clem! What the fuck are you doing here? Clem? Please, don't hurt him! Uh, fuck. What do I do? Alright, fine. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Lee. This is my kid. You're not from Crawford. Oh, right. No. Hello. You're cute. You're not, You're the, not guy the guy on the radio. The radio. <laughs> I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Thank you. A plus. Ken Ken. Jill. Kenny, don't! Oh. oh. Look at what you did. <laughs> No, he's with us. We should probably go, right? Who the hell are you people? <sighs> Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Hi, Molly. I'm Molly. Lee. I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. Not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> She's so friendly. Is that hi? I'm Clem. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, we have a child. I'm from no, Make It. I'm from Make It. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you wanna know? Yeah. When everything started going to shit. Some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. 
stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? I've seen the way you looked because at my there kid. Are no children in Crawford. Yeah. Not anymore. She was surprised. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Is it you? Yeah, that would be me. Uh huh. I knew it, Lee. I knew she was the one who's been following us, fucking with us. I don't think Get so. Get that Ken. finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I all right. I've been following <laughs> you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Oh. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart. Never Bells. heard that term. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. I'm sure you do that fine. Grim, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> How'd you get out of the house? Oh, well, Meat started getting really sick. Kristen and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. I mean, she saved your ass, Lee. Really? Again. Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. Yeah. That's debatable. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> was that you at our house this morning? Watching it was a man in a suit, fence. Lee. Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. <laughs> what do you mean, no children? Why not? Can't live by the rules. No children. No elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Mm -hmm. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survive. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. How'd they cordon Jesus off a whole Christ. neighborhood? Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here I feel in the like world. like that's worse. <laughs> Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. They didn't meet my Clem. My Clem is very useful. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Are you from there? I'll never let that happen to you, Clem Clem. It's okay. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I'm trying to find a boat. Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. You did start coming right. by? Just right. Alright, well, let's get the fuck out of here. Why are we just standing and watching the them? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a. <laughs> well, she doesn't know us anything, so I can't blame her. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. She's got a soft spot for the little one. <laughs> just a little bit. Come on, make it fast. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. <laughs> 
grabbed him by the butt. Like, get up there. What about you, Lee? Come on! I'm... He's gonna drop me again, isn't he? Yeah, I thought so. Um, yeah, let's move this. Oh, hi guys. How you doing? Come on, Lee. Get your ass out of there. I don't have much of a choice down here. Can't get it open. Here, use you that to wide open. Thing? Oh my goodness, thank you. How kind. Oh, hi guys. Oh, hello. Bye. Are you coming in too? Hi, Clem. Hopefully I'll see you again. <laughs> I have no doubt that we'll see each other again. Oh. Well. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Saves me from killing you. All right, now we're just Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Hopefully. Are you sure about that? Shit. Shit indeed. Okay. Feel solid. Okay. Is that good? Another one? No way I can pry that open. Well, fuck. What do you want to do now? Oh. Well, this one isn't. Oh, they just said, no, you want to go over here. Don't get your toes wet. What are you doing? Nice and easy, Lee. There you go, buddy. Those rats. Those are indeed rats. What, why would you want to pick up a dead rat? Ain't touching that. Okay. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. <laughs> okay, we can't go this way. I guess it makes sense that we're gonna go this way. Passageway. Lock. Lock it. Okay. Need a valve? Sounds like there's dead down here. You might wanna Yeah. Hey guys. <gasps> Is that my boy? Fuck me. There's no way I could take out all of those things by myself. That better not be my bud. I'm get in there, Lee. Turn anymore in that direction. Okay. What is this doing? Where is it turning on water? Oh. Hi there. He's Good like, what is this? Here and not in there. Hmm. Seems loose. <laughs> Hi. Shit. Um, can we take this? Cool, thank you. Alright, um, no, wait, where, where are you going, Lee? Can we not go this way? Okay, we can't. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Can we open this now? No. Okay, so you use my thingy? Oh, okay, I was expecting more noise. Yay! Another passageway. Okay. like, oh, my knees. We'll cut them on there. Alright, we should move. Like, don't just stand there, Lee. Fucking move. Are you stupid? This way. Go in there. Alright. 
I like this little passageway. I feel very safe. Let's watch all our friends go by. It's like five. Oh no, it's Chuck. Oh. Oh my god, Chuck. He I must know have tried to out down here. Poor bastard. Well, I'll take his gun. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. Oh, okay, so he did kill himself. You deserve better, old man. Yeah, he did. He was great. I loved him. There's one little scraggly bastard left. Get her. Wait, what are you doing? <gasps> oh! Not the time! Not the time! Oh! Okay, okay. No, 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 no. You don't need to come over here. It's okay. Hi! Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to use the gun. Shit. I got that. Those bars are way too solid. No way I could pick that up on my own. Okay, we'll jump. Ah! Ow. What the hell? Well, hurry up and figure it out. Okay, climb on in. Like they won't follow in after, I don't know. <laughs> Block it from the other side. No, oh, shelter. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Well, yeah, you just read the sign. Got some beds and some food. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Well. <laughs> I don't know about mine, but oh, hi. Oh wait, you don't have to Who do that. You? It's all right. It's okay. I'm Lee. <laughs> I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Well, I can't Look, do that. I'm sorry I disturbed you, folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find no. out he's down here. Are you from Crawford? I've got a kid. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I know. No. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as he <sighs> Pretty much. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? <laughs> what? What is it? Why are you freaking out? iTunes? Just go away. Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. Sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! I'm not gonna hurt Relax. you. Relax. Oh, I just kept you. his gun. <laughs> so this is mine now. <laughs> He's like, fine. You're Whatever. really not from Crawford? <laughs> no. I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. 
They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? One second. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Running. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Nice. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Thanks. Oh. Yeah, I guess you'd always want to say your proper goodbyes before somebody leaves in a situation like that. Who knows if they're ever coming back. So she's sick, sick. The rest of them are just in remission. That sucks. Cancer and a fucking apocalypse. There's nothing you can do about that. She went unlock support group. Oh, we're back? Clementine? Clem? Girl, my baby? Sweet pea? Hi. Molly? Oh, hey. You made it back. Yeah. Who's this? Someone we met. He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. He was the fossil. I didn't try to jump you. Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. Thank you. I think you have something that belongs to me. I do. Here you go. Don't mind her. She's a little cranky sometimes. Lee, thank God you're back. Hi. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Great. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. He doesn't have Please. to, actually, Krista. I don't know why these people keep saying, you have to. I'll there. see what I can do. No, take me to him. Nobody and nothing has to do anything or go your way. Literally the point of the world. <laughs> Oh, maid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. Cause I'm godly. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Okay. <laughs> I really don't have anything going on, but thanks for pointing that out. Where's Clementine. my daughter? Clementine? Love. Are you in here? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? I don't know, Lee. Clementine's drawing. What'd she draw? Oh! Those drawings. And it's me! Where is she? <laughs> it's next to a grave. That's, that's nice. <laughs> I don't think she's hiding in the cabin. Use sofa for what? I'll have time to rest later. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> what are you planning on using the sofa for? Clem, darling, where Clementine, are you? Clementine, you here? Clem? Hello? Oh. 
Molly? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. Okay. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Okay. I trust you. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me. I'm not her keeper. Hey, More do I not. look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Fuck you, too. Clementine? Oh, am I just, like, checking? No. She's downstairs. I'm gonna just go downstairs. Oh, Clem? sweet pain. Clementine? Clementine! Come out! Tone. Please! Hey, where's my kid? Kenny? Can you, can, can, my love. Oh, hey, you made kidding. it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? On the table. Found it. <laughs> You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Don't Molly so sure. said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us, Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? A drink. Not the whole bottle, Ken Ken. <laughs> She's like, no man, nah, I'm good. Leah's gonna whoop my ass. <laughs> um Maybe outside. Clementine, where are you? Pretty sure if she was inside she would have come to us by now. She might be mad at us, but she Clementine! Didn't like bedside manner. Clementine! <sighs> the hole? Oh. That's where the what vent was. What happened back here? Doors covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. Hmm. Where could she have gone? I feel like this was because of her. But... I can't, like, go in... Okay, so I was right. There's something in there. Hello? Clem? Sweet pea? My love? You just elbowed me in the gut. Hi. Are you okay? Hey, girl. <laughs> Come look. Look what I found. What'd you find? Something good? Well, you seem very satisfied. A boat? There's a boat here all along. The one house we chose, <laughs> and we had a boat. This was here the whole time? I know, right? She's so proud of herself. Ken Ken! Look what Clem found. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> I don't need this anymore. <laughs> Going cold turkey. Who needs alcohol when you've got a boat? He always, he was a fisherman. Fisherman? Fisherman? So, I can understand his pure glee about seeing a boat. Hi, doctor. I thought you had to go back home. Old Mead's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's 
got a real infection. Right. Not a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hmm? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no. Well? You want the good news or the bad news? The bad. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. Oh, that's... So what's the good news? A little worried. That's it. That's all she needs. Right. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Yeah. Maybe we should try there. What? Now, hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, <laughs> what harm can it do to ask? I don't Trust think we're going to be asking. You don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. Serious? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. Uh, I do. <laughs> you see? I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. Yeah, I've thought about Molly. it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. Okay. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Betty Ben. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Under the cover of dark. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. Okay. That's how I'm still alive. And because your cancer went into remission. Which is great. Congratulations. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? I've just been eavesdropping. Is it going to be dangerous? A it's little. what going to be dangerous? She's like, are you stupid? <laughs> yes. I can't lie to you, Clint. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. I know, me neither. Neither do I, Clem. <laughs> Sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? You Molly did say said that. Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? All right, okay. come on. <laughs> you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm gonna go get ready. Okay. <laughs> She's just got such a cute face, you can't say no to. It's like, okay, fine. <laughs> Come on, let's go die together.
Let's hope Omi doesn't die while we're gone. Cause that would suck. Check out what I found in the garage. What? Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Good. Nice. I'm cold. Can I talk to you a minute? What's about? up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. Okay. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Harley. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Hello. You've brought a friend. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's well, fuck you, Molly. Deal with it. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's move out. Are you threatening me with that, or are you giving it to me? Like, you just... <laughs> I don't know, that was weird. <laughs> this should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Hell of a pep talk, Lee. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. <laughs> it's like, I like you too much. Stay super, super close. Glued to my side. Okay. Let's go. Got Let's go. anything? Is that another pick over there? Like Molly's? Is... Where is everybody? I don't know. There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Oh, sorry, sneak Jesus. Out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. All right. <laughs> sneaky, 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 sneaky. Sneaking. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. I'm gonna get you. What the fuck? Oh. You're not a person. Well, you were. Hmm. He was walking so normally, though. So they're all dead. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside fast. I think they're all dead. <laughs> well, is that good for us or is that bad for us? Either way, it would have been fucking possible death. So I mean. Your guess is as good as mine. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, honey. I didn't mean to scare what you. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh, man, we are so screwed. Ben, shut up. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. Yeah. See? I agree. 
So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. no. You want to do we a just head got here. Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Right. Benny Ben. Come on. I think I know which way to head. Okay. I got a bad feeling about this. Well, it's got to be done. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Tired and chilly. I've been sleeping well lately. Well, I never sleep well, but it's been even worse lately. Just keep moving. I was gonna say, I think that X means don't go in there. Here. And it's just so luckily open. It's okay. Everybody in. This is the classroom? I mean, it is a school after all, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but... Armory. Of course. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Mm. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? I don't know. Free? Here. Just give me a sec. Motor pool. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Okay. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Good to know. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know? How do you know that? <laughs> She's from here. Just makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, yes, but also you're from what here. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. Okay. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. Did you bring a crowbar? need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to The only to person one. with a backpack we'll is Molly. We'll back here. Good luck. How are we going to carry all this shit? I mean, I just shove things up my ass, apparently. So. What? Why are you mugging me? What are we doing with What about me? What can right. I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I protect. Back before you know. <laughs> Such a cutie. What? Ugh, she's so sweet. Shelf. Flags. Dolls. TV. Alright. Where are we going, Lee? Do they say that and I missed it? They might have. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. That normally happens in situations as of these. And 
empty locker. Shell casing. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Oh, I'm coming with you? Okay. I'll be there in a sec. I've already been fired. They're worthless. A bloody locker. Can't open it without the combination. Alrighty. Okay, that's just you guys. It's like, what the fuck is that? Okay, so I need a combination or something? Okay. Where'd you go? Oh, down here. Okay. <laughs> She's too quick, man. <coughs> she runs and just hops and climbs everywhere. I don't this have the, the, door to the alleyway flexibility. Or energy for all that. Smiling. Fuck it, ran off. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. It's probably for the best. Let's see what's down here. A fence. Okay, that does nothing for me. Authorized motor pool workers only. Well, I'm authorized. Oh! Did you see that? What was that? I'm not getting over there. I can climb up there. And just hop. There you go. Good job. I'll come to you in a second. I just want to see if there's anything over here. Nope, just a fence. Okay. Molly. Damn, it's jammed tight. Alright, well, how do you want to handle this? I'm already over here. Oh! Leave him! Molly. He's mine. What are you doing? Nice to see you. <laughs> I think she's got a grudge with Molly? this man. Molly! What? I think you got it. One more! Okay. If that makes you feel better. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Mm. Not a problem. Look what I found. What? Oh, Jack? Oh, yeah. That'll work. Okay. Hi, guys. Well, guys, stop just looking at him. Get this shit done. What are you doing? I don't know why they do that. <laughs> Come on. Can I take anything? Yeah. Okay. Hi guys. They can get in there too if you guys can get in there. Oh. Molly, your friend is still very much alive right now. Like they didn't see us come in here. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. All right, thank you. Much appreciated. What am I looking for? A uh, battery? There's a car up there. A uh, door. A lift panel. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Okay. 
Do they work? No power. Alrighty then. Anything in here? There's a battery in that car because I can see the light. I can't reach it up there. Really? I wouldn't have guessed. Fucking Lee. Nothing over here? Okay. Hmm. Can I use this for something? Oh. It's locked. No way in. Can I cut this? Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Molly, may I borrow your shingy madiggy thing? Hey, psst, Molly. Something you need? Yeah. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through <laughs> a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, no come on, Hilda. I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Fine. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Okay. Hold on, I want to ask you the other question. Something you need? Yeah. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? You right. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? I don't think that's no, it. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Mm -hmm. You already hey, been dead up. you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Okay, one last question. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Well, yeah. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? They were assholes. I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in was their little paradise. Was she sick and got kicked so out yeah, or something? yeah, fuck them. Because she's definitely I'm from here. i to have a look around. You do that. I will. Thank you. I'll use your picky thingy. <coughs> Excuse me. Why don't you bring it down, right? Slowly. I did it. I have a feeling. Whoa, whoa! It's gonna make noise. Yeah. That's probably not good. No shit. I wouldn't have guessed. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's okay. the battery. Finally, something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. I'm trying to... Okay, okay, I see. I'm being timed. Got that one off! Okay, and the alarm stopped. It's off! I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, it's good. Got it. Plenty of yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. You better not fuck me over, Molly. Okay, follow me. Because I'll fuck you up. Hi, guys. I gotta go. Move your ass! I'm moving it. Not today. Where are we gonna go? Great. Now what? Up. Skyline. Fuck it. <laughs> it's already fucked anyway, so. Better not leave me down here. She's like. Ten times stronger than fucking Kenny. Kenny drops me every time. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever Better stop being done there. Come on. Where are we gonna go? Where are you going? I can't do that. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Okay. I don't know, man. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> well, where now? Oh, did we just miraculously get back? Come on. Yes, we did. Later. 
something I gotta do first. What? Don't tip out on me, motherfucker. Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Being nuts. Hey guys. Still not in yet? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. Really? Taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. I already got the battery. You've been standing here this whole time. Dead inside. Little help! Ah. Little help here! Ken Ken? Oh no. Uh -oh. Fuck you. Doors won't close all the way! Wait, do something! Oh. Well, I guess we can do that. We got it! My hatchet. <laughs> that little thing is gonna hold it. Hold. Damn well better. There's so many of them. Well, I'm assuming there was quite a few people in this community. Got the fuel. Great. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Oh. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Get a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Yeah, even if we get this boat working and we go on the water, we're not gonna have fuel forever. We're gonna have to stop places and like scavenge and shit. You're back. I'm back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. Shut up, Ben. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. I hope. I don't think she'd fuck us over now, would she? Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. I didn't really no do problem. a whole lot. <laughs> We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. That sucks. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? <laughs> right? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. <laughs> that's how I feel. If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd feel the same. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. All right, I tried. I mean, I got the battery. Molly's fucking around. I tried with the other people, but they didn't want my help. But maybe they'll want it now. Well, hold on. I want to see if that combination's in here anywhere. No. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would yeah, probably yeah, be at yeah. the auto shop out through here. We did all that. Thank you. Dolls, books, pamphlets. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Number of walkers found Dason's outbreak. Number of ineligible citizens found. Number of citizens brought Crawford. 
Okay. Paste. I don't think it's in here, unfortunately. Maybe it's in the nurse's station? Let's go have a look, Sealy. They're pretty upset out there, huh? Look at them. They got blood all over the windows. Who's gonna clean that? Shit. Great, where'd you guys come from? Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. You really you you really think that's a good idea, Lee? Alright. Hi guys, it's just me. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Another combination. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Great. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I oh, doubt they no. just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Um, a bed, a copier, paper... Mom, well, papers... Might be some information on there for me. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Okay, never mind. Fuck what I just said. Medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Videotape. Oh. Camcorder. Hold on, I want to look around some more. Sonogram. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Okay. Why do you sound so angry about it? What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. All right. First aid kit. Uh, already Empty. cleaned out. All right, well, I guess we'll be using this. Does this even sell batteries? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. That means oh, that she can't God, stay, oh right? As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. Why would you want a baby in this situation? Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. She, she ran away, dude. Hmm. <clears throat> Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think Wait. I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Okay. 
Well. Alms probably haven't worked in months. I guess let's go back to where we were with Molly earlier and check out the dude that she totally destroyed. I'm assuming she had a thing against him. I want to know the combination of this fucking locker, though. I can't just guess it. Can't open it without the combination. Nope. Alrighty then. I don't think there's any other doors open either. I think it's just ones I've already been in. But okay. Alright. We're back here again. Looters will be shot on sight. Here. Something. I knew it. Oh. Convenient. Thank you, TV. And just hop. There you go, bud. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. You haven't gotten very far. What you doing, bud? Where you going? Get down. And again. Okay, never mind. Well, what's he got? Another tape? This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. <laughs> we got that combination. The safe combination was only four numbers. I know who that belongs. Oh, hi. Shit. Time to go. Yup. How'd you get back? I have both combinations. I mean, I have one combination. I assume the tape has the other combination. Logan. Logan. This must have been his locker. Well, what's in there? Tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Hopefully. All right, let's go have a look, see. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Whoa. Oh, is that how it started? She killed him, and he fucking... <laughs> no way. <laughs> Oh, damn, that sucks. Ah, nice light. I think we know what happened to Crawford. Yeah. More importantly, we got the combination. Well, what's the other one? What? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? She's pregnant. It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Wow. We're in business. Antibiotics, I don't know what the other tape is, morphine. though. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. 
Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I won't. But I want to see what's on this tape. I mean, I've got it. I might as well look at it. What could it be? What could it be? Oh. This does not... Uh, <gasps> Molly. Listen, as fun as this was... Are you fucking this man? This Molly. Happen. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. What are you yes, doing? we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm I sorry, see. Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for my sister. Why do you... Here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Why was he recording this? Like, that's just evidence against him. Well, hmm. shit. Well, now we know why Molly took out the dude so ferociously. She fucking... He fucked her. I mean, she... Literally and figuratively and literally again. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I mean, she's doing what she had to do for her sister, I guess. Wonder what kind of medicine. Like, diabetes or something, maybe? Molly. Jesus Christ. Speak of the devil. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where Who you been fuck fucking? Been? <laughs> Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? <laughs> he has I'm just nothing kidding. to say. <laughs> He's just like, are you fucking kidding me right now, Molly? This is not the time. Here you go. Thanks. What's that? Nothing. Your sister? You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life it's twice, true. but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Oh, I'm sorry. That's shitty. This is all I have left of her. <laughs> she was cute. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. Oh. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Who's ringing the bells if it's not Molly? Uh-oh. Who took the hatchet? There was a hatchet there. I know. I put it there. Who took it? Oh, ben. Shit. Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those what bells. What are you doing? And then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh my god. Uh, ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Are you fucking dumb? Oh, shit! He's clearly dumb. Uh, nice. Jesus. Damn. Lee, oh. shoot this fucker! Oh, did I? 
Thanks. I, I did. I didn't mean to. Was it me? Oh. Okay. Nice shot. Thanks. Well, you did it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh. What the fuck is going on? I'm coming, coming in clutch. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! He just keeps fucking up left and right. This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Right. Ben. We don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. No what? Idiot. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me no. who made the deal with the bandits at no. the motor inn, slipping this is them not supplies. A good idea. <laughs> I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh, you fucking idiot. Ken, Ken, we can't do this right now. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Right. Let's go. I know. I know. Nice group you got here. <laughs> Thanks, not Molly. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi. Damn, you put that at risk. <laughs> Wait, don't I get a vote? Yes. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. <laughs> we don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. Oh, she's so cute. On second thought, I think I'm <laughs> gonna abstain. <laughs> I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. King Ken ain't gonna like that. Clementine's happy though. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? You're not in the no, you're dead. So it doesn't matter what you think anyway. <laughs> Yeah, now she's can dead. we go? Damn Green, right. Cheese. Burning, oh. Come on. We gotta go, dude. What the fuck? Fucking iTunes. Just stop it. I swear to God. Ah, oh, time for this. I don't know why it does it with The Walking Dead. It doesn't do it with any other game, and it just auto closes it out. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Oh. Hi, guys. Ah! Hi, guys. <laughs> it's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Nice. Lee, look. Oh, thank you for me. <coughs> oh wait, I'm not gonna be shooting men. I'm not good at this. We go. Oh. Oh, hey guys. Oh. Who is that? 
press up? Yeah, bad bitch. Thank you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> you feel so badass with the fucking melee weapon. Like a gun's cool and all, but a melee weapon. Even better. Excuse me. Pardon me. I gotta get through here. Oh. Off you go. Hey, no, 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 no. You can't have my. Oh, man, he took my hatchet. Come on! Hi, honey. I'm fine. It's alright, Clem. I'm fine. We still have to get out of here, though, so don't make those promises. Any way out of here? here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Come on, let's go! Oh. Who hung... Who hung John from the bell? Oh, fuck. I do get a choice. Ken Ken's gonna be so mad at me. Just get the fuck out of the window, dude. <laughs> we don't have time to talk about this. Oh, Ken Ken's gonna be so upset with me. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I don't think he's dead. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> hey. Back already? Yeah. We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Probably, yeah. <laughs> You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. I don't mean mug me, Ken Ken. What the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. <sighs> okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. About? What do you want, Vernon? Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? Hmm. What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? Not in this That's how life. I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, <laughs> it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we better just get used to it. Yep. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. 
What? What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me. Are you me. high? We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. Uh, eat my She'll ass, safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with no. you. I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To mm -mm. be safe? Nope, I want her to be with me. You didn't say any of this. <laughs> give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. At this not. point, I and am. Staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. Oh. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Not wrong. Anyone who tries to get between <laughs> me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up uh. dead. You hear me? All right. Well, my camera's being dumb. So we're going to just finish this next part until we get somewhere safe. And then once I get my camera fixed, we'll finish the rest of the episode. So let's go. Take your hands off me. How'd you expect me to react? somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun I thought you wanted to be on the boat so that's it after all we've been through you you're just gonna leave yeah I figured you don't owe me anything I got what I wanted in Crawford and I never did like the water where will you go I don't know I'll figure it out when I get there what do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. She is a good one, isn't she? working on the boat I know what are we going to do after he fixes it where will we go someplace else someplace better Clem honey what's wrong is Ben going to be okay he doesn't seem the same since he got back well he's been through a lot Clem he's just gotten a little overwhelmed that's all <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Oh boy. I'd like to, Clint, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. No. No, don't cry. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. Oh, my poor baby. She just wanted to see her parents. Oh. Poor baby Clem. Oh, we left the walkie-talkie for her. <laughs> I mean, that dude's still around. Oh, okay, we're still here with her. Okay. Clementine? Clementine? Where did she go? She even unlocked the morning. Clementine! Clementine! 
Oh, are we coming up God. to like the end of the episode or something? Well, then we'll just finish this real quick. Oh, walkie talkie. What would she be doing out here? Oh my god! Who the fuck are you? Did you get Gotli? Oh, now there's blood on her head. Oh, we got got. We got the got. No. 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 Oh, Lee. Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Yeah. Fuck, man. I'ma tell him. Man. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. I know. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. I no know, way. right? No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No, no way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I need Wouldn't help. Mean I have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Ken Ken, are you mad at me still? You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What oh, kind of friend would I he's be not mad. I wasn't there for you now. <laughs> Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Thanks. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a minute. You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? <laughs> ben, I'm sorry, but I need Kenny on this. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. Just don't fucking lay a finger on it, you hear? Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. Are we okay just leaving the boat like this? With only Ben to look after it? <laughs> what choice do we have? If no one trusts Ben. If anything has happened to that boat when I get back, I will fucking bury you in that backyard. Are we clear? The kid and the dog. I'm assuming this is the end of the episode, right? No. And they're gone. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Guys, I don't think it was Vernon. <laughs> I don't know where they went, but I don't think it was Vernon that took Clem.
There's a lot of dead moving. Hello, you are looking for Vernon. Well, shut the fucking door. What are you doing? Clem? Baby. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Yeah, this is not Vernon. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Okay, what are my options? Yeah, there's the end of the episode. <laughs> okay. The Walking Dead, episode 5. No time left. That's our next episode. Um, you and 74% of players killed the boy in the attic. You and 66% of players were rational and honest with Vernon. You and 73% of players brought Clementine with you to Crawford. You and 66% of players did not let Ben fall to his death. And you and 80% of players showed the bite. Who came with you? I could have had them all. Just Ben or just Kenny or by myself. Okay. No, Ben. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this here. I'll film an outro when I can fix my camera. So, <laughs> I'll be back. Alright, well, my camera is being just so dumb right now but regardless of that i hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and playing it with me i can only imagine what the final episode is going to bring and then we'll be moving on to season two and so on and so forth so i hope you have a beautiful fucking day or night depending on your situation and i hope you like subscribe and ding ding and i will see you guys later bye